hooked and in chantra whatever that word is and so the whole the whole journey of the relationship is just basically a heartbreak in the making uh, yeah talk about your upcoming album what's the difference about the second album i think the difference um, so far i mean it's, it's it's still in the making but i i do think that like with my last album like especially like sonically like if, if, music wise um, or sound the, the sounds of it was more electronic and a bit more synth driven while um, recently I've been very inspired by taking it back to how I started which is more band driven so it's more real guitars and <laughs> real guitars I mean it's more guitar driven it's more organic maybe than the last album um, and I think for now that's like the most clear difference i think i would say from the previous album maybe a bit more raw um not raw. as like hopefully not like not as polished maybe mm. yeah. uh, that is from second album syndrome did you experience that did you feel yes. that <laughs> i think that's a great question because um i've always heard that people say um Oh, the the difficult second album, and I always thought, I mean, how difficult can it be? I mean, the first one was so much fun, um, even though it was challenging too. But I've definitely felt that, and I think the reason for that is just because when you do an album, you kind of feel like you're closing a chapter, and and the stuff that inspired you before that album doesn't necessarily inspire you in the same ways after you release the album. So I think for me, like the challenge was just to like find new things that inspired me, like finding new sounds and finding new ways of saying things and and maybe trying to like develop certain elements. And and so, yeah, it's it's been challenging. And, and for me, I have to write a lot of songs before I write the song, one song that I really love. So it's just taken time to, to, to collect, um, uh, you know, to have a collection of songs that I really love. Yeah, how to how do you avoid that second album syndrome, like me? I think I just continue to like not let yourself mentally like um, get too confused or stressed out about it. I think just mm -hmm. taking the time to continue to write, um, really try and challenge yourself in the studio to try new things and don't be scared of trying new things. Finding people that you love working with and and continue to working with them. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I, it's still uh, in the process, so maybe it's easier to answer this when I'm, I'm done with the album. But I do think that like you can be insecure and you can be uh, confused and you can be, um, you know, feeling like you can't figure things out. But what what's the one thing, you know, that's gonna stop you? F like you just you just have to continue to do it basically and not let yourself stop by it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Daphne, what kind of music do you like? Is What exactly is your favorite music? What my favorite music is? Yes. I would say um, pop music, but that's a bit more um, indie than mm. a lot of the stuff that, you know, I love indie music and I love pop music and I love the mix of the two. So, um, you know, I really love um, I love, I love uh, pop music, for example, with organic elements. I think that's great. I, I love a song that is like, 
um, that is happy and upbeat, but also maybe have a melancholia to it. You know, there's all these different nuances, but I would say indie pop is my favorite uh, type of, I mean, genre, if there is genres in the same sense anymore, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any plan to come to Indonesia for a concert or vacation? I would love to come and play a few concerts and then have a vacation after we've done the concerts. But I would love to come to Indonesia. I've never been and uh, I feel like, um, you know, I've, I've had so many lovely conversations with people that are from Indonesia and, and I know that we have some people out there who loves the music and so I really, I have a dream to come there and, and play shows and meet uh, people that listen to my music and and also take a bit of time to just explore the country yeah yeah okay lovely thank you for your time thank nice you to you. You, yeah, you have a good day, day. yeah yeah <laughs> thank, thank you, you.